Alright guys, my name is Mr. Goblin, and today I'm going to be giving you some tricks to avoid a server queue in Classic WoW. So, by no means are these tricks like, you know, some magic button that you can press to skip a server queue. It is really tricks that you can use to avoid getting to a server queue in the first place, or basically just not having to sit there waiting at your computer screen for the duration of actually being in the queue. Just before jumping guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch as I'm streaming over as much as I can right now. And by the way, we have a five total tricks in this video for you guys to try out. I mean, it depends on your current situation and it depends on your routine or you know, whether these tricks are going to work or not for you. So the first trick I have for you, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, if you feel like there is a terms of service risk for you doing this trick, then you know, take it or leave it. But nonetheless, I've been doing this trick for many years now to totally avoid server queues, and it's called an anti-AFK macro. But you will not be making a macro in-game, you'll be making a macro with different software. Primarily, I've used this with Razer software, and I've used it with uh, Logitech software, which I'm currently using right now. And what you basically do is you set up a macro that presses the spacebar, you know, once every 100 seconds or something. And what that will do is stop you from becoming AFK and being kicked out of the server. So I do this in a number of situations, you know, I need to go and get a shower, I need to go out to do some shopping, I need to get a haircut, I need to eat some food, whatever. I put this macro on and it will stop you from, you know, getting kicked out of the server. I've been using it for many years, probably about, you know, seven years or so. I haven't, you know, been banned or anything like that. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to do it, you don't do it. You know, it's your risk, but it definitely does work on just keeping you in the server if you temporarily have to be AFK for a little bit. If you don't have a Razer or Logitech mouse, you can use software like Key Manager, which basically does a similar thing. You can even take it a level further and you can get Xpadder. Xpadder is basically a controller software which will remap buttons of your controller to actual keys on the keyboard. And what you can do is you can get your controller, get a rubber band, wrap the rubber band around a joystick, and you know wrap it back around the handhold parts and basically you'll be constantly pressing a key and because you'll be basically constantly pressing down a d-pad part down which will be constantly pressing a key which will again stop you from going afk so those, those are just a number of tricks that you can use but if you feel like it's unsafe to do it then just don't do it so the second trick i've got for you is using team viewer this would be an ideal situation for someone who works in an office or they work out of the house with a laptop or something. So TeamViewer, it's basically like a little software that you can download on your main PC and then, you know, a separate laptop or a different PC, where you can essentially take control of your main PC from a different PC. So what you can do is get TeamViewer on your main PC, keep your PC logged in when you go to work or wherever you're going, and when you're out, you can log in to Classic WoW, you know, it's pretty simple, and um, you can just do it by pressing the battle net play button, can't you? So it's pretty straightforward. And then you just do that, like, at the precise amount of time that it takes for you, you know, to log in. Then kind of time that correctly with the amount of time it's going to take you to get home from work. Then you can probably take advantage of that. So, I mean, if I was working in an office, I'd probably download Team TeamViewer on my PC at the office if I could do it. If I had, you know, access to it or I had permission to do it without, you know running the risk of getting into trouble at work, because obviously I don't want you guys getting in trouble at work either. And I'll just log myself in on my PC using TeamViewer, or I'll do it on like a crappy laptop that I have. I have loads of crappy laptops hanging around, I could do it on that. And then by the time I get home, I'll be logged in because I've logged in, you know, a few hours earlier. So there you go, use TeamViewer as, and that is our second trick. My third trick is to get somebody to log in for you. This also depends on your routine, uh, you know, your girlfriend or your flatmate or your mum even may get home from work or school, uh, you know, earlier than you, and you can ask them to log in. If I, if I was still living at home with my mum, I know that when she gets home from work, would be much earlier than what I got home from school. And what I'll do is I'll train her, well, it's not they don't exactly need training, but I'll teach her how to turn my PC on, log on, log into Classic WoW, and, you know, so by the time I get home from school, I'll be further down in the queue, or, you know, there will be no queue at all. So... You can do that. You can take it a level further, but again, you will probably be breaking in terms of service. You can get your friend to log you in. 
given their account details, get them to log in to Classic WoW on a separate client to theirs if they're already playing the game. So get them to basically put you into the server queue, and then when you get home, you, you can get them to log out, and then you can log in, and hopefully there shouldn't be a server queue. However, I'm not 100% sure about works, because it might track your IP when it comes to server queues. Um, so, you know, and again, it probably will break terms of service, so do it at your own own leisure. So the fourth trick I have for you is to just log in early and go back to sleep. I've been using this trick quite a lot, so my routine at the moment, because I've been streaming late and, you know, basically playing Classic WoW really late until 4 or 5 in the morning, what I do is I set an alarm really early in the morning, well, it's not really early in the morning, I set it to about 11, like, in the morning, and then I know that if I log in at 11, it's probably going to take me 3 to 4 hours to log in, and then by the time I've woken up, I shouldn't have a queue. So I've been doing that. I mean, whatever your routine is, you know, if you've taken a week off work to play this game, or even two weeks, then, you know, you can just set an alarm to get up a little bit earlier, wake up, log into the game, and then go back to sleep. I've been using that trick, and that's how I've basically totally evaded server queues at the first week of launch. So my last trick I'm going to teach you is logging in back, well logging back in fast, okay, because a lot of the time the servers have been going down, it seems like recently they've been going down at about 3 o'clock in the morning, or well actually no, yeah 3 o'clock in the morning central time, 2 o'clock in the morning my time, so every time that's been happening, I've been learning how to log in, or log back in extremely fast, and what you should do is basically, I don't care, like, I know sometimes they say on Twitter and everything that it's going to be down for an hour, or it's going to be down for 15 minutes, what I recommend you to do is put your password on paste, so you can paste, just can press control V to put your password in, and then just keep logging in, don't go back to the battle net thing, you know, stay on the login screen, keep logging in, you know, every now and again, and when it gets to closer to about the 15 minute mark, I'd recommend just spamming the login, and eventually what will happen is you'll get to the login screen, but you won't be able to see any log any servers online. You'll just see all the servers there and it'll say they're all offline. And what you got to do is you got to wait on that screen, and you got to look at that screen and never take your eyes off that screen and wait for your server to go green. And then when the server goes green, double click the server name. Don't click the server and then, you know, go to enter world or whatever. Just double click the server name as fast as you can and you'll be able to get straight back into the server without a server queue if you do it. I mean, I haven't, you know, I do it exactly when it goes green and I've never been stuck in a server queue after a server reset, so... You should be fine, in all honesty. But anyway, those are my five tricks to avoid server queues in Classic WoW. At the end of the day, you don't have to do the tricks that obviously run a bit of terms of service risk. But, you know, I had never been banned, I'd never been in trouble for doing these tricks. Well, apart from the team viewer trick, I haven't done that myself. Anyway, it is what it is. You can choose what you want to do. My name is Metagoblin, to my next video, ciao.